I'm so excited. It's been so long. to my channel so today I'm here with a new DIY video it's been a while since I last made one so I'm extra excited for this one and as you can tell from the title this one is about customizing your furniture specifically IKEA furniture because we all love to go to IKEA that means that we not only recognize IKEA furniture and we're like that is from IKEA that is from IKEA but it also means that we all end up having the same furniture and I think that's kind of boring so today I'm going to show you three easy ways to spice up your furniture make it your own put your own spin on it with that being said the first one is actually one that I've seen on Tumblr and Pinterest quite a lot so that probably won't stand out too much but it is still a DIY IKEA hack so I thought I would include it in this video and if you want to make it your own you can always change up the color or add some washi tape or there's a million ways to change up your furniture which is what this video is about and without further ado let's get on into it. So for our first DIY we're going to be making these Tumblr-esque looking shelves that I'm sure you've seen on the internet times and again and for those you're going to be needing some shelves obviously. I chose the Ekby Yappen shelves because I already had them at home and the iconic Ekby Falda brackets. And then you're going to be needing some spray paint in whatever color you want. I just chose this antique bronzy gold color. So you want to start off by shaking your can really really well and then I always like to do a little test on the side to see if the color is right and the nozzle is clean and all of that sort. And then I'm just spray painting my brackets according to the instructions on the back. And make sure you leave enough space because if you get too close it gets strippy and it just ruins the whole look so make sure you have enough space and you can always go back in and fix things with a second coat. I would advise to do that anyways because wood tends to swallow up a bit of the color so just go ahead do a first coat let it dry for 24 hours and go back the next day and fix all of the patchy spots and give it a second look to finish everything off. So I let mine dry for another 24 hours before screwing them into the wall and of course I went ahead and drilled some holes in the wall and then I just needed to screw them in and I made sure that everything is straight because nothing is more frustrating than having a slanted shelf, trust me. So you want to make sure that everything is straight and then you just need to screw the shelves on top of the brackets and then you can go ahead and decorate. This ampersand is actually another little DIY project. I bought it at Primark, although I didn't like the color. So I just took some gold spray paint and gave it a little makeover. And it looks so much more expensive than it actually was. So if you ever find anything in a shop that you don't like the color, just try spray painting it over and it will look so much better and nobody will know. So that is actually it for our first DIY. For the second DIY I'm going to show you how I made this gold wall lamp that is next to my bed. And for that you will need the Austed wall lamp. I've had this for such a long time but it just didn't go with my room so I wanted to spray paint it gold. You'll need some type of base to make your spray paint stick to the metal of the lamp. Some spray paint in the color of your choice. Some tape, I would recommend painter's tape but whatever you have is fine. And some washi tape again in the color of your choice. So first you will need to take apart your lamp and if you just bought it then this will already be done for you so that's good. And then take the tape and tape up all of the parts that you don't want to get spray paint on. So anything that's inside of the lamp, the cable, all of the little details, basically anything you don't want to paint just tape it up. Then just take your base coat and spray the entire lamp just like you would with any other spray paint as well. Make sure you don't get too close so it doesn't get drippy and cover all of the details and you guys know. And just let that dry for about 24 hours before going in with the actual spray paint. And because we used a base coat this should be pretty opaque and you should get away with only doing one coat. But if it's not opaque enough or you just run out of spray paint like I did then you can always go in um, with a second coat the next day and just um, yeah fix that problem. 
And while our paint is drying, we can attend to the lampshade. So I'm just using some washi tape to make the rim of that gold. You can also use some spray paint for this part, whatever you want to. You can also color it. Feel free to get creative with this part. I just thought washi tape would be easy if I ever want to change the color. But like I said, it is your lamp. Who am I to tell you what to do with your lamp? Do whatever you want. And once everything is dry, you can take off the tape from your lamp. And this is why I suggested you use painter's tape instead of the one I used. Because for some reason it got really, really sticky and it was really hard to get off and left this really weird sticky residue. So if that happens to you, there's an easy way to fix it. You can just take a nail polish remover wipe and just wipe down the cable and all of the little parts that you maybe accidentally got some spray paint on because that happened to me as well. It's really hard to tape off those little parts properly. So if you got any paint on those, then nail polish remover will totally fix that problem. And once that is all done, you can just screw together your lamp, screw it into the wall and then you're done. And for the third DIY, I'm gonna show you how I made over my bedside table that I've had for such a long time as well, and it was in desperate need of a makeover. And for that, you will be needing the Hemnes bedside table, some spray paint in the color of your choice. I'm just using this rose gold, shiny gold type color, some tape, I learned from my mistake, this time I'm using painter's tape, and a new knob. I found this one at H&M in the sale section, and it was only two euros, so that was quite a steal. So first, I'm gonna mark where I want my spray paint to go. So I'm just measuring down each leg, about 14 centimeters, and making a little mark on each side. And then I'm taking the tape to tape off the edges, but make sure it's all completely straight because otherwise it just looks messy and you'll have a lot to clean up later on. So it's better to make it straight in the first place. And then I'm also covering up the surface of the table so I don't get any spray paint on that. And I'm just using an old plastic bag for that and some tape and taping it to the legs. Then I'm just taking my spray paint and I'm painting away. You probably know the drill by now. Um, to be honest, I would probably do a coat of base first now because mine was a bit runny and it looked patchy. Um, before it dried. It looked fine after, but if you want to make sure that everything is nice and smooth, I would just do a coat of base, just in case. <laughs> that totally rhymed. And um, if you have anything that got spray painted, although it shouldn't have, or if you have any edges that are not as straight yet, you can just clean those up with a nail polish remover wipe. Last but not least, we just need to change the knobs of the table, and this part is fairly easy. You just need to screw out the old knob that it came with and screw in the new knob that you decided to use. And then you're all done, and you can go ahead and decorate your bedside table, and then you're finished with the DIY. for my DIY IKEA hacks video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, you can do that down there. Can you? Is it down there? I don't even know. I'm gonna leave a subscribe button up here so you can go and subscribe to see whenever I make a new video. And I'm gonna go now. I hope you're having a great day or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. to spice up your bye bye vlog camera <laughs> on tumblr and pinterest on tumblr and pinterest pinterest why can i say pinterest what the fuck another shit <laughs> bye